All right, guys, got a new one for you. Got a car charger installed this morning. I'm going right here on this wall. Got a future there, but like you saw in my previous video, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use a piece of rigid and go right through the wall, right into the back of the panel. Let me show you where the panel is. So here's my panel. Use those two spaces right up there. And take that cover off here and go right through, right to where the charger charger will be. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I got my wire here. My GoPro died, so I switched to my meta glasses. So I'm sure the won't be a full screen anymore just because the meta glasses doesn't let you record in 16 by 9 which hopefully that changes i'm gonna go ahead and move this oven circuit up there because i don't want what i install above six foot seven i didn't install this panel i didn't inspect it so not my thing i don't know if they're using the oven so i'm just gonna do a quick amp draw on it real quick let's see if they're using it maybe they're baking some breakfast i don't know So we should be good. Turn this off. Swing this bad boy up and over. I'll land this. Make it look a little bit better. Just like that. With aluminum wire, guys, you gotta make sure that you work it a little bit after you tighten it, because it will smash down and loosen up. And one thing I just realized, I swore this was a Square D panel when I came and looked at it, I even took a picture. Eaton panel, even though a Square D breaker will fit in here, we're not putting that in, so I'm gonna have to run and go get an Eaton breaker. That sucks. Good time. We're making good time. Try not to move too much. Alright guys, now that I got the right eat and breaker, let's get this wire landed here. I just had the inspector call me on a, another job that I had, so I just got back from that and he's headed over here soon to look at this one. That's a little more copper than I would like to see. I'd like to see a little bit sticking out, but not that much. That's perfect. Give it a wiggle so the wires flatten out eliminates any chance of it loosening up in the future especially the car charger load car charger loads are extremely hard on circuits this panel all vacuumed out here too i usually don't do zip ties them in my residential panels just to keep the weight off this i think i'm gonna put one here let's grab a zip tie actually we'll do a couple zip ties let's grab a battery back actually there's a battery in there a zip tie right here nothing crazy away from that lug there. That. I don't like to cut my zip ties with the dikes because it leaves a sharp edge and I don't have a zip tie cutter so I just take my line ends and just twist it like that and then it's a nice smooth cut there. Same thing here. Twist it. No sharp edges. Nice and neat. Make sure everything looks good you guys. You just want your stuff to be nice not sloppy like that. Backing this out. And because this is such a short little chase between, I'm gonna duct seal it, seal up the hole that eliminates dust from getting into the charger. Take a little bit of this, stick it in there. Get a little bit at a time so you can get it in there. Get all around the wires. Just gonna get in between the wires like that and push it into the conduit, just mold it around. A little bit more and that will be done. Just like that. And then the oven got moved up, so let's relabel this stuff. Put 
So I need to relabel this dead front here. One way, a little trick that I learned, well not that I really learned, but I just figured out, is if you take some dirt, get a little bit of abrasive like that, on your, look at that. Takes the Sharpie right off. Good as new. Just get a nice clean. This whole thing's nasty actually. Wipe won't take off the sharpie by itself. So at least clean things up, you guys. Make things better than it was when you got here. Have a little pride in your work. Get this labeled up. I'm gonna leave all this open for the inspector on this one, so you can check it out. All right. One thing I forgot to do is charging cord out and rolled out. Try to eliminate as much coil up as possible. So I roll it out. And put out there in the sun, soften up the core, take the coils out. So when we go to roll it up, it'll be nice and neat. All right, let's get that dead front label. Got to relabel the oven since we moved it. There. We'll make one. Charge. Now the car charger does come with a label for the breaker, but since I'm already making one. Just make one of these. I got a dead front label, charger, oven, so pretty much it. Let's get some of this cleaned up. Alright guys, just gotta get this charger pigtail landed here. Just goes right into the bottom. This guy here, just like that. It's got this little quick connect clip, just like that. These wires go right into here like this. Make sure they're fully seated, like that. And then this guy just plugs right into here, just like that. Boom, done. So, I do have to put a new sticker on this charger because it's gonna be a 48 amp output. I don't remember where they stick the little label. Not in there, here we go. So put this little label right here that just lets the next person know that this thing's been programmed to 48 amps output. So it just goes right there. And these are the little labels I was talking about that they have for the breaker. I'm not going to use that one. You just got to put that one on. Make sure you relabel the bottom of this to whatever you're going to set it at. Alright, the only thing left is turn power on and then we got to go to the installer app and get this thing commissioned. Set up for how many amps we want it. Let's fire this up, power on, Let's make sure we got proper power leaving the breaker, 246, 123, good to go. Uh, installer app here, home flex, install, alright guys this is a wrap, it's all done, got it commissioned, the customer got it connected to the Wi-Fi. it's all wired up, um, I'm gonna leave it open because the inspector's on his way right now to come check it out. Come over here to the panel. That's where it comes through. All duct sealed to keep dirt and stuff out of there since it's a short little piece of pipe or rigid. Up here, 60 amp breaker. That's it. That's a wrap. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for future videos.